life. But God sent his son, sent not his son into this world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. His word is already blessed, and now the program provides for a poem by Zona Dark. Make sure everybody is on. This one, you gotta turn it back on. Let's see, you know, just push the button. Monique 
It would take over some time. One thing I can definitely say about my baby brother Trent, when um, right before I got married in New Texas back in 1987, he came to, he always stuck around me and he said, I don't want you to go. And that was the hardest thing for me to explain to him that when you get married, you as the husband, you're, you're in charge of your family and I have to follow my husband. Years later, as he became an adult and he came to visit me, he said, you know what? I want a marriage just in yours. And I prayed, I prayed with him and I said, I pray God, give you the wife that he wants you to have. And he in the marriage that God designs for you. And my last words to him, my last embrace, was that he said, I'll always love you, my big sister. And I leave with those memories. I know I may have not been in Florida, Fort Myers for a long time, but this place right here, was my spiritual foundation that took me all the way to Texas and had me to pray for my brother. Amen.
was the day that I fell, but I always seen him hanging around Pete, Boss, Kiki. They was all like big as thieves. Um, but just that small gesture just lasted a lifetime for me. And I just want to tell him I love him one last time, and I'm glad I was able to see him one last time.
to the right person. He will guide you to, to the right person. So, so you, you've been it. Now, your uh, suffering has been prolonged because now you, you just get closure. You just get closure now. You've been a while. But now God is lifting that burden off of you. He's lifting that burden. That's what he does. If, if, if you hold on to the burden, then that's you holding on. Because God knows how, if you hold on to the burden and to all this suffering and dragging yourself through, all the dead 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 will tear you up. You have to give it to God. You have to, because you can't do anything to reverse what happened. And we have to, we have to know this, that every man's time, when I say man, it's all inclusive, is appointed to him. God, we have boundaries that we cannot pay. We have boundaries that we cannot pay. So we can't blame anyone. You can't, you certainly can't blame God. That's right, that's right. What we have to learn to do is accept yeah, right. the will of God. Amen. We accept the will of God and not looking back. As long as we get in the blame game, we continue to look back. We can't look back and walk forward. Right. You have to move forward. That's right. From this point on, you have to do whatever God requires of you to strengthen yourself. Your energy, listen, your spirit man, your spirit man is the most powerful part of you. Now we that's care. Right. We feed this car man because that's the one we look in the mirror, we see. That's right, that's right. We see. That's the one we dress up. That's the one we spend the hundreds of dollars on shoes and, right. and suits for. That's the one that we see. But the real one, the real us, All right. is on the inside. Yeah. It's on the inside of us. That spirit man. Why is it why 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 we don't care about the pain that's, that they're going through. We won't hear it. But God releases us. He, but the spirit man is being renewed daily. Oh, yeah. Being made stronger. Yes. More powerful. Good God. Man. And that's, oh, yeah. that's the one that God is connected to. Yeah. It's your spirit man that controls when you when you feed it and it grows and matures in the word of God, it's your spirit, man, that controls your common man. Uh, all of us could should, all of us should and, and are able to get to that point in our life because God has made it possible. God has made it possible for our spirit man to be built up. If your spirit man is not built up, then your difficult days will be even more difficult. Yeah, yeah. Because on your toughest days, when you need God the most, listen, God will show up. And you don't know he's there. You don't know he's there. Because the spirit man is connected. And you don't know he's there. Because God will dry those tears. Right. He'll dry those tears from the inside. From the inside, God will dry those tears. You'll be you. You'll say, God took it away. He has the power to do just that. So all I'm saying is we lean and depend on him. Yeah. And then God gives strength to the family to not only to heal, but to grow. Yeah. To grow. And that's what all of us need. We need the power to move forward. To move forward in the right way. Yeah, look, look back and, 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 and enjoy the memories. Look back. But move forward. Move forward. Because we, got, we, we, we must all realize this. Every single one of us has a day with death. Amen. You, you would never outlive death. Amen. Every single one of us have a day with death. But this is, this is the good part about it. God gave us a choice where we want to spend eternity. Amen. The body going to the, to the dust from which it came, but the spirit man ain't more than that. Cemetery. Spirit man ain't going to the cemetery. He ain't going to lock no spirit man up in the cemetery. It's not happening. All right. 
It's not happening like that. Yes, yes, there's two places. I would say there's two places. We have a choice. God didn't give us a choice of a hundred different places. All right. There's only two. All right. And a lot of people don't like to hear, but we like to live in reality, but we might want to wake up and live in reality. It's heaven and hell. Yes, yes. That's reality. That's what the word says. That's what God said. So you need to prepare. Now, you want to spend life in return with God, which is what God desired. When he first made man. When God first made man. God made man so he can have fellowship. That's right. With man. That's why God made man. But because of sin. All right. All right. Yes. Sin messed, up, messed us up because we start caring to sin and start doing what God told us not to do. That's right. And then we get so attached to that, it's hard to pull back. Because now we ain't got a taste. We ain't got a taste. We got a taste of that. All right. God said, no. Any tree you can eat of, but that one right there. All right. In the center of the door, eat out that one. All right. How many of y'all know? I raise my hand. How many of y'all know we do what God said don't do? All right. We do what God said don't do, and it gets us in trouble. But I'm glad God made a way out of trouble for us. So when we turn around and realize we ought to follow God, because that's the best way to When it bit, boom, all kind of problems. Went around trying to hide God. Like, who told you you was? <laughs> Praise God. So give it to God. That's the that, listen, that's a choice that we all must make. That's right. For us. I know we had some mamas and grandmothers and fathers and grandfathers that that wish they could make that choice. Oh yeah. For us, but they can't do it. You have to make the choice for yourself. Amen. Choose this day whom you will serve. And I guarantee you this. A lot of people say, well, I can't do why. I'm just giving up so much. So you ain't giving up nothing. What, shall, what will it profit a man if he gave the whole world and lose his soul? Not a thing. But when you give up this world, you're gaining. When you gain Christ, when you have a relationship with God, you can ask him no more. If you have that right relationship, God made it possible. I might tell why he sent somebody down that was perfect. 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 We was all messed up. Yeah. None of us know that we deserve death. Just as demanded that we should die. God sent somebody who would never stay. Amen. Amen. See, I want you to do what I pay the price. He's the only one God. He was the only one that God would accept the payment from. Right. Your sin had never been. God said, I want you to do it. He came willingly to do it. They didn't like it when he came. Mm. Mm. You ain't God's son, you the devil. They didn't like it. Spit on him, lie on him, talk about it. They didn't like it. But still, he did what God sent him to do. Man. And because of what he did, now we have access to God. We have access to eternal life. If we end up in, listen, if one of us end up in hell, we have nobody to blame but ourselves. If God's so good, why are you still in hell? God ain't going to send you nowhere. You choose where you want to go. If you don't go to hell, keep living without God. You buy your ticket. You buy your ticket. But if you want to go to heaven, live for God through Jesus Christ. Okay? God bless you, family. Be strong. Be strong. Support one another. Encourage one another. Lift one another up. Pray for one another without ceasing and talk to God the Father. And God will strengthen oh, yeah. your life. Amen? Yeah. God will strengthen your life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Now, now I guess we have this the, the funeral home is coming. With acknowledgement. Yeah. Yeah. Are we going to cemetery? I'll see the program. Okay. All right.